Hey everyone, Chris here, and today we're checking out Signal Simulator. I played a game called Voices of the Void, and that was actually based off this game. So I thought it was about time I check out the original. And man, this game is actually a lot harder than I thought it would be. Because Voices of the Void simplifies stuff quite a bit. This one's a lot more complicated in finding signals and processing them. Let's go ahead and have a look around. I mean, obviously this is our main desk where we find the signals, kind of process them. And then I think this is our server room, obviously. We have a console over here, which is where I think we do all the calibration of the satellites, stuff like that. But man, there's a lot more commands than I thought there would be. Uh, let's start maybe with the diagnostics, see how that's going. Is that server connection okay? And check for server calibration. Let's go ahead and calibrate or check calibration. So I'm guessing these are all okay. If they're at zero, again, not exactly sure. Uh, I think we'll just leave that alone for right now. I'm assuming the satellites are fine. I mean, we just started up. And yeah, it's kind of weird. I guess we're actually living in here. We have our kitchen and whatnot. And then our bed, obviously. Got a little alarm clock. Then I think a restroom over here. We sit down and use the toilet, apparently. Oh, we actually flushed. We take a bath if we wanted to. Let's head over here. And just like the other game, we could lock the doors, obviously. I think this, yeah, this heads outside. Kind of want to head upstairs first. And let's head over here, kind of look around. And yeah, I believe in this game there's actually power management. So over time, those solar panels will get dirty. We've got to clean them. And what else do I see? There's a water tower there. Obviously, all our satellites over here. Got some radio tower there. Antenna there. Some, again, another antenna. Looks like a satellite in production and some hangars over there. All right, let's head downstairs and outside. I don't know how important it is to close this stuff, but I don't know. I'm kind of in the habit of always locking everything. So let's go ahead and do that. I think we have a garage. Yeah. I just don't think there's actually anything in here. At least nothing that I could pick up or move yet. Got the Tesla Cybertruck with the broken windows over here. And then obviously we have this little vehicle here to kind of get around, go to satellites and fix them. I'm not sure if this uses some sort of fuel. I'm assuming it's electric. I think it says over here something about the consumption. I don't know if it maybe has a solar panel on top or how we charge that. We do have a generator back here. I'm seeing a fuel cap, so I'm assuming, so I'm assuming there is some sort of fuel mechanic. And we also have this rover, which I think we could control from inside. We're supposed to go around, find stuff, I guess. Okay, but enough of that for now. Let's go ahead and try finding a first signal. Uh, I think we go over here to the laptop, go to the scanner. And then I think we, yeah, left click to scan. Oh, scan failed. What the heck? Why? Oh, I have to hold down left click. Okay. Again, still figuring this out. And I think it gives us a direction. We'll see something on this map. It'll be like a weird blotch. Oh, yeah, over here. It's kind of hard to notice, but yeah, it's just lit up a little. You get like this pixelated picture. So now we're analyzing it. And then now we have to tune our frequency. I'm still not too sure on some of these parts of when to know we're actually good. So right around here I'm hearing, you know, talking or whatever. Oh, there we go. So now we got stuff beeping over here. Oh, I think I just passed it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I adjust the frequency here. And then we'll start getting kind of, um... The azimuth and elevation of the signal, which we can then set with this. So this is kind of processing it, and it's kind of giving us a range of where the signal might be. So the minimum 60 to 95, so we could kind of guess maybe it's at 77. Same thing with elevation, maybe it's around 38. 
And yeah, this is the part that took me forever last time, so we'll see how this goes. Let's go ahead and turn this on. And I guess we'll start with the azimuth. It says around 74. You could also have this graph, if that helps a little. So then we're pretty much just calibrating this until this shows a good signal strength here. Yeah, I moved it to 78, and now this bar is slowly filling up. Uh, so let's try increasing it by just a little and see what happens. And we also have to click this over here to start the rotation. It does take a second or two to actually move. Okay, they actually reduced it. So let's try going maybe the other way. Okay, got the azimuth pretty much locked in. Now just for elevation. Uh, saying around 37, so let's kind of go there first. Again, takes a second for the satellites to actually rotate. Oh, there we go. I think we could turn this off. And now I think we're just waiting for it to download. So it says, status signal available. Radio telescope status detected. Signal source, oh, so it's a planet. Planet type is mesoplanet. I've actually never heard of that. And then the signal type is a radio wave emission. All right, so let's just wait for this to download and then we'll check it out. Although I think it's a ready bling, I don't know. Let me stop that for right now. We'll wait till it's actually finished. Okay, 57%. Hey man, these are actually some large files. 1070 megabytes, almost a gig. And we're downloading at uh, almost four megabytes per second. I wonder if it would actually go faster if I got the elevation a little bit better. But I kind of don't want to mess with it. Because again, I went in here earlier, tried one signal, and just this part alone took me like 20 minutes to figure it out. And then I'm not sure what this is right here. Antenna detection control. I don't even think I touched that. And then I'm noticing over here, we never got the tracking available. So I wonder if there's something we could have calibrated better. And we're about 99. And yeah, we're done. Now it's converting to binary. I think at the top left it said we got some credits. Okay, that's done to binary. And now it's decoding the binary data. And what now? Okay, so we didn't get anything there. That's kind of odd. We did have the audio. And yeah, it's kind of just a pulsating wave. Which I guess makes sense. Radio wave emission. Okay, let's go over here. Check out those credits. Okay, we did get decoded data. So I'm assuming that's kind of like text we might find. And then since it was a radio wave, we didn't get an image or anything. And I guess that was just a random signal. Yeah, there's kind of categories over here. So obviously all the signals we find, random signals, which I'm assuming obviously aren't important, story signals, and then event signals. That's kind of nice, so you can kind of keep better track. Check out upgrades, see what we got here. How many credits do we have? Uh, 96, okay. And man, these are very slight upgrades. Like rotation speed goes from 0.01 to 0.012. Jeez. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to get, so I might just do some basic stuff like power efficiency upgrade. That doesn't sound bad. Let's do that 30 credits right there. Oh, and it does get more expensive each time, so the next upgrade's 75. Dang, all right. Let's go ahead and apply that. Then I think I want to do this upgrade. It's going to increase the accuracy of the coordinates we get, so we'll spend a little bit less time randomly searching around. Okay, so there's upgrades for that, and then I think there's specific modules too. Not sure what the difference is of these. It kind of makes it seem like these modules are temporary. I mean, it's only 15. Let's see what happens. And then we can uninstall it for seven. Okay, I don't I don't know what I did there. I think I just wasted some money. I think it's about 10 o'clock. Go ahead and go to sleep. I think we can. I don't remember if we do in this game. Yeah, we can. Okay, so we can kind of pass time. Ooh, what was that in the background? A falling star? That was kind of interesting. And then what are those glowing lights over there? How's the server room doing? Because I did read something about like overheating. So I don't know how big of an issue that actually is. Oh, temp check. Let's do that. So 59.1 degrees Celsius. Doesn't seem too bad. Okay, let's go outside, do a little bit of exploring. Let's hop on here, and then... Ah, oh, where did I see that green thing? 
Oh yeah, over there to the left. Oh, this thing's kind of weird to control. Yeah, let's head over there, and then I guess we'll check out the solar panels, maybe do some cleaning. And then maybe we'll pass by one of these satellites, see what they have inside. Uh, I already passed it. Hey, what the heck is this? Looks like some uranium or something. I don't know, that's weird. Oh, I think we gotta get the, the rover. Probably have to drive it over here. And then analyze or extract this thing or something. That makes a lot more sense. Oh, what the heck is that? Uh, maybe that's just the moon or something. Alright, let's go to the solar panels, see what that's all about. And what the heck is this? Sorry, I was on my way over there, and I just kind of noticed this floating. Uh, that's not normal. I think it's supposed to be like a crop circle or something like that. It looks like a symbol for sure. I just obviously can't see it from this angle. Okay, so we have, what are these, transformers, or maybe a battery slash accumulator or something. I think they have a switch next to them, or a panel. What's this? Oh, cleaning system. Oh, okay, so I don't do it individually. I mean, I guess that's actually pretty good. Because that'd be a lot to clean. Still tripping out about that, though. That looks so weird. Kind of looks like a ball with little eyes on it. Okay, let's go ahead and clean these. Our charge efficiency is 69.44. Nice. And system efficiency is 71. So let's see what happens if we do this. That kind of just wipes it from right to left. Oh, now our charge efficiency is all the way to 100. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I kind of noticed it seemed like it only did the first line of them. Or maybe I was just uh, at a render distance for the second row. And it looks like we have a lot more space maybe to install more. Maybe that's an upgrade we get later on. Okay, let's go ahead and go to one of these satellites. Let's go to this close one right here. And then maybe after that we'll try out the rover. There is this kind of weird dirt mound over here. Oh, there's a shoe in there. What the heck? I picked I could take the shoe. Why? What? What's that sound? Oh, hey there. Oh. Okay. I didn't think we'd be visited by aliens that quickly. Jeez. Okay, I thought there would be a little bit more build up until we saw something like that, but I guess not. Okay, we did get 20 credits from that, and then I'm assuming we maybe come back with the rover. Check that out. Okay, let's go over here. This will just park it. And what's this panel here? I'm assuming it's just to turn it off. Yeah. And let's see what's up there. So this is satellite number eight. Let's open that up. And yeah, it just seems like an individual server. So maybe individual ones kind of fail. We have to come here and like reboot it. So I'm assuming we'll get an error from our main server room. And then from there, we'll kind of have to obviously come here and fix stuff. Oh, what the heck? There's a helicopter. Do we get supplies or something going on? Is that what's happening? Oh, let's see where this goes, because it's obviously carrying something. Is it going to drop it or what? Just notice there's kind of a railroad track over here, but no train. Oh, it's coming down. Okay, let's get in here. Again, in Voices of the Void, you would kind of get daily supplies. But as far as I can tell, there isn't a hunger meter or anything like that in this game. Wait, where the heck is it putting that? In the garage? Oh, okay, just kind of toss something back there. Now it's leaving. I don't think I could get back there. There isn't a, a jump mechanic or anything in this game. 
And I don't think we got any credits or anything. Oh, and now that moon thing's gone. It was there a second ago. So I don't think it put anything up here, right? No, it definitely dropped it in there. And I cannot really see inside. Also forgot we had this telescope. Oh, I should have used this to look at the freaking, um, that like moon looking thing. Next time I see it, I'll go here. Although I think it was on that side. So it might be out of our field of view. Looks like a storm's rolling in. Okay, let's head over here. And I think we use the laptop to control the rover. Yeah, over here. Oh, and this thing controls really, really janky. You have to kind of input how far forward you want it to go and then execute the command and it'll slowly go. Um, I th uh, Do we want to go to that rock? I think I could see it right there. Yeah, let's head over there first. I think we're going to want to go to the left and forward. I don't know how much that actually is. And man, I can see why you would want to upgrade the rover speed because this thing's freaking slow as heck. Yeah, but I think I want to line it up this way first and then go to the left. And this looks pretty good, so let's start going to the left. I don't know. Start off with maybe like 20. I'm not sure what that means. If it's just like 20 meters. Oh, did I just... I'm just rotating to the left? What the heck? Ah, got it. Okay. I thought it would just literally slide to the left. Okay, that looks pretty lined up. So now I guess we just go forward. I don't know, 25. I'm also noticing up here it says MSL rad. Does that mean radiation? Okay, I'm getting pretty close. Just put another command for 12. Don't know how close I have to be. I'm seeing obviously like right on top of it. Although I wonder if this one will actually do anything. Just because, I mean, we already found that shoe next to it. So maybe that was the whole thing. Also, I'm noticing this button over here, which is AE. Oh, arm extend. Did that do anything? Oh, it's gathering data. Okay, I'm assuming that's a good sign. Okay, 98%. Let's see what happens here. Okay, 100%. CH4 detected plus one fuel added. All commands executed. Okay, what the heck does that mean? Assuming I got something from that. Okay, what does reset POS do? Oh, okay. That puts it back at our base area. Got it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to line it up with that uranium thing and kind of just guesstimate the distance if possible. Yeah, we'll just kind of set this to go forward for a bit. And let's see if we can find another signal. I do want to see what we got for that. Doesn't seem like there's a database or anything. Oh, storage. Okay. Set CH4 and some fuel. So requirement for generator. Okay, this is kind of weird. I don't get this part. Okay, yeah. Let's just try to find another signal. Let's go ahead and scan up. Got one to the left, apparently. Oh, yeah, right there. And let's tune this frequency if we can. I don't know if it sounds any different from the one earlier. If I'm being honest. Oh, there we go. Now we got the beeping over here. Oh, we got an auto scan. Let's see how that works. Oh, so it just goes through the frequency. And then earlier we didn't have tracking available. I wonder if I did anything different. I don't think so. Yeah, we already found it at 1432 megahertz, so that's good. Let's turn this on, start getting some coordinates. Yeah, it seems like it's settling around 162 and 64, so let's go ahead and set that. Let's try 157 and 62, see how that goes. Okay, they finished adjusting, and we're still not in range, but we should be closer. So now it's kind of just, you know, fine-tuning. Okay, I got the azimuth, finally. At 166.53, that looks pretty much perfect. And yeah, it varies a lot. Like, right now it's at 166, and now it's saying the average is 169. So I think we'll still maybe try to do these upgrades, because that seems the most useful right now. All right, now we just need to find the freaking elevation. Oh, I just realized I could turn off the audio for this. 
Okay, that's a lot nicer like that. And yeah, I'm having no luck. I um, went all the way to 87, back down to 50, so... I was doing it by 5, so maybe I'll try by 1s now. Uh-oh, we're starting to lose our azimuth somehow. I don't know why. Is it because I turned the audio off? Oh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, now it's going up. Oh, there is a storm going on, I think. Oh, I could zoom in with right-click apparently, too. Uh-oh. Okay, so maybe that's making things a lot more difficult for me. Yeah, I just saw some lightning over there. Because I don't know how picky these are. I'm noticing it does say like 67.7. Ooh. Yeah, I just heard that thunder right now. Yeah, I think I'll just try going up by ones. Hopefully I could get at least a little blip on the elevation. And then, you know, from there just kind of fine-tune... But man, I'm finding nothing. Okay, I finally started getting a little. Jesus Christ, that was so hard. Um, okay, let's try, let's try that. See if we can get that up a little bit higher. Ooh, maybe just one more should be perfect. Yeah, we're slowly getting credits. And yeah, let's see what we got here. So a terrestrial planet. Oh, it's Mars. Okay, we're getting a signal from Mars. That's cool. I just hope this storm doesn't mess with it too much because, yeah, it's definitely fluctuating quite a bit there. Especially the azimuth. That one's really flying around. Download speed's kind of slower than earlier. 1.53 megabytes. Again, possibly because of the storm. I also wonder about this. Is it saying server statistics? Seven other errors. Oh no. If that's something I need to be fixed, I don't know. Yeah, and I think we just gotta wait for the download. Let's check up on our rover while that's downloading. Where is he? And look, there's that thing over there. Okay, let me see if I can get on the roof with a telescope. Although, that's probably not the best idea during a freaking lightning storm. But let's see what happens. Oh, okay. I did not like that sudden ambiance. Uh, where the heck is it? Okay, I could I could have sworn I saw it from the rover. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Yeah, that looked like the lightning bolt was coming right for me. Oh. Okay, I think that's just a meme. It's like a face and a ball there. Okay, but I don't think I got anything for it, but I mean, obviously has lights around it and whatnot. Okay, let's get inside before we freaking die. Okay, 30%. Yeah, our azimuth is doing pretty bad. Hope we can't lose signals, because that would suck. And yeah, just gonna set the rover to go forward towards that uranium thing over there. Oop, now our elevation is doing really bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did our servers crash, or what the heck happened there? Kind of had a little blackout. Okay, it's still downloading, so I guess that's fine. Man, should I go to sleep? Maybe wait out the storm? Let's see what happens. I'm just, again, I'm kind of worried about maybe losing the signal somehow. Let's see. Okay, it's still raining. Kind of hoping the storm would have been done. Uh-oh. I think we... Oh, man, it reset again. What the heck's going on? Sounds like the helicopter's coming by again. Oh, I think we lost the signal. Yeah, this isn't processing coordinates anymore. And yeah, signal says no data. Damn it, okay. I don't know if that was because I went to sleep or because of the storm. How's the server room doing? Let's do a quick uh, diagnostics. Oh, so antenna server number four is down. Okay. I mean, at least that's something, I guess. I don't know if that's maybe what caused the, the failure. Oh, where the heck am I going? And yeah, it seems like the helicopter just drops something off every day. 
Okay, not exactly sure what. Uh, it's doing something. Okay, so satellite number four. I think this one was number eight over here. So let's see if maybe this is a uh, descending or something. Oh no, that's ascending. So that's number nine. What are you? Number seven, hopefully. One. What the heck? This makes no sense. Um. Okay, I'm gonna guess this is number two here, three, and then four. Yep, here's number four. I'm assuming we just have to go up here and reboot it. Okay, antenna server number four, timeout. Uh, reboot. Server connection is okay. And yeah, now it's, now it's good, okay. I wonder if maybe that was because of the storm or just a regular failure. I wonder if I lost the signal either because I went to sleep because of the storm or maybe I, I just, you know, timed out. Just want to go over to this water tower, see what's up here. Oh, what the heck was that noise? What? Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. What is that? Is a radio here or something? Oh, what if our signals may be back because we fixed that satellite? Yeah, because I'm not seeing any... Si oh, I don't know, that's still weird though, because it only kind of appeared back over there. Okay, let's go ahead and head back. I think I'll pass by over here, quickly clean the solar panels. I'm assuming we're low on energy. Because, you know, storm is kind of cloudy too. Yeah, efficiency is back to 100. And I'm guessing the top one that says system efficiency is kind of like our total charge. Alright, let's go check back up on that signal. And yeah, it looks like it's just completely gone. Okay, I think we did get some credits at least. Yeah, we're up to 47. So maybe we could upgrade something. And yeah, we definitely were getting lower download speeds because it says our current speed should be four megabytes per second. And if I saw, we were only getting like 1.3. So something's up there. The heck, why not? Let's just go ahead and purchase a download speed upgrade. And yeah, let me try to figure out what's causing that download speed thing. Maybe calibration. Oh yeah, those are really off. Okay. So maybe Cal start a, a antenna controls and detection disabled. I'm kind of wondering, maybe I have to go to each individual satellite and then do the Cal start there to calibrate them. Cause yeah, it just says antenna controls and detection disabled. I don't know if there's a way to enable that. I'm not seeing anything here. Okay. Let's see if we can maybe find another signal Oh, we got one right here. And man, I feel like the other one would have been interesting because it's literally Mars. It's right next to us. So maybe that would have been some sort of uh, event or story signal, you know? Oh, okay. Found that pretty quickly. We got auto scan, so let's do that. Oh, it's doing some antenna calibration here. I wonder if it's doing that because we typed that in earlier. Or if it, you know, just automatically does it every now and then. And I'm kind of guessing maybe these numbers don't actually mean anything. It's kind of all over the place, getting a lot of syntax errors and errors resolved. Let's turn off this sound because it gets annoying. And yeah, let's start calibrating for that. Oh, I, I think I can't move this stuff until they're calibrated. Because yeah, I was clicking over here and nothing happens. Okay, so we just kind of got to wait on that, I guess. Okay, how's our rover doing? Okay, maybe a little bit more to the left, but it's kind of on the right track. Oh, I think I could play the audio already. Because it seems like we got the same signal again. It says Mars Terrestrial Planet. Repeating radio signal. Honestly, it kind of just sounds like bubbling underwater. That's the best way I can kind of describe it. Okay, let's stop that. And yeah, this is still calibrating. I wonder 
if maybe rotation speed stuff would help with this like maybe some of this oh wait no calibration okay maybe it just says the error okay yeah i don't know how much that would actually help then also saw this cup of coffee let's see what happens if i drink it a little animation pinky up is that actually lower i can't tell Oh yeah, it is getting lower. What if we drink it all? What happens now that it's empty? Okay, I just took the cup. You know, I think I did see a coffee maker over here, right? Oh, we could actually make a coffee. Nice. Although I think this is more of an espresso machine. Ah, uh, yes, this is peak gameplay right here. Can I do anything else in here? Doesn't seem like it. I wonder, can I put the coffee cup back now? Oh, yeah. Wait, I think I could go into the terminal and see how many satellites we have. I think if I do calibration, it'll show how many. Oh, my God, we have 19 Jeez, okay. And yeah, it's barely on 15. I mean, should I just go to sleep? I mean... I think we're probably gonna lose this signal either way. But then what if they get worse? Okay, let's go to sleep. Let's see what happens. Are these done? Yes, okay, they're finally done. Jeez. And I think... Wait, did we lose the planet? Still says Mars. Okay, no, I think we're still good. We're still good. Okay. Oh, we have to go way down on the azimuth. Got a range of 31 to 67. It was like 56. And then maybe down five here. Let's do that. Um, I'm not sure how to read this actually. Oh no, it's raining now. Great. That's probably gonna mess with us quite a bit. Also, our system efficiency is really low, which I guess makes sense because we're not going to be charging right now. Is there some sort of indication to how much power we have? What about this? Does this open up? No. Yeah, this has to move quite the distance. Oh, what was that clicking? What? We getting radiation here? What's what's going on? Oh wait, no, I think that's the rover. Right? Cause uh I'm assuming it's getting close to that thing. Okay, that that actually scared me. I was wondering what the heck that noise was. Maybe that actually does make quite a bit of sense. That's still moving. I guess we'll just keep an eye on this. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Uh, let's go with like 9 meters. Not very good at judging these distances yet. Okay, we're pretty much on it. Let's try this. Extend arm. Is that working? Okay, it looks like it's working. Okay, let's leave that. Man, this is still moving. Okay, 98, 99. Oh, oh, what the heck? We actually picked it up. Oh, it was a meteor. Interesting. Okay, and we got 150 credits from that. Okay, I guess we should do some upgrades. I mean, I guess we'll do one rover speed upgrade. Let's do that. And we still got 137. You know, I'm kind of wondering if this antenna detection range kind of increases the range that we could detect stuff on the azimuth and elevation. Let's go ahead and buy that, and then I think we'll do the azimuth and elevation upgrades too. So one there, and then one here. Still got 47. I'm still not sure how the electricity stuff works, so let's buy this, be a little bit more efficient. And yeah, now we're down to 17. Okay, how's this doing? Oh, I think we lost the signal. Yeah. Dang it, okay. Damn, that's a... 
second one we've lost. And I think it was Mars again. Okay, well, kind of out of time for this today, so I'll leave it there. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, we couldn't really find too many signals, or... I mean, we found some, we just ended up losing them. So hopefully next time we find some good ones, maybe a story or event signal. We'll see what happens. So yeah, like always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.